of uh, the formation of a dialogue committee and adoption of the names that have been given. But however, Mr. Speaker, with, um, with a rider on the discussions that are going to happen. Number one, Mr. Speaker, I think in this country, one of the things we must acknowledge and accept is that once elections have been done and there is a dispute and Supreme Court pro, uh, speaks itself of the matter, then that matter should be considered rested. Mr. Speaker, I think as a nation, one of the most important things that this committee should not do is to accept and set a precedence that when you lose election, you can actually use violence to get back to discussion and be accommodated within government. Mr. Speaker, I don't think that is what our constitution intended. We need to be progressive, and once you lose an election, accept the results. You can challenge or propose amendments, change of policies that would probably address some of the things that are required without necessarily causing violence in the country. Mr. Speaker, I also want to urge those who are going to sit in that discussion that the center of discussion should be things that affect Kenyans. We in Kenya Kwanzaa, uh, Mr. Speaker, had already proposed, and I wish the Asimio side would have just graciously accepted our proposal, that we create an official opposition leader position within Parliament, Mr. Speaker, and that was with, within our plan as Kenya Kwanzaa. Mr. Speaker, after all this suffering and violence, after the loss of property by Kenyans, after loss of lives, finally they have, the chicken have come home to roost, and uh, as Emir now have accepted that we need to create the position of official opposition, which we propose, and we thought it is extremely important, Mr. Speaker, that those in the opposition can also be heard in Parliament, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as we conclude the dialogue, I would also want to urge those who are going to discuss that the compensation of property destroyed must also be discussed. And I propose, Mr. Speaker, to those who are going to sit there, that the funds should be sourced from political parties that were involved in those losses, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I support. Senator Abbas. Yeah. I'm actually disappointed. You have been very selective, uh, giving the members who went to talk. 